Evening, April 10. For there stood by me this night the angel of God. Acts 27-23 Tempest and long darkness, coupled with imminent risk of shipwreck, had brought the crew of the vessel into a sad case. One man alone among them remained perfectly calm, and by his word the rest were reassured. Paul was the only man who had heart enough to say, Sirs, be of good cheer. There were veteran Roman legionaries on board, and brave old mariners, and yet their poor Jewish prisoner had more spirit than they all. He had a secret friend, who kept his courage up. The Lord Jesus dispatched a heavenly messenger to whisper words of consolation in the ear of his faithful servant. Therefore he wore a shining countenance, and spake like a man at ease. If we fear the Lord, we may look for timely interpositions when our case is at his worst. Angels are not kept from us by storms, or hindered by darkness. Seraphs think it no humiliation to visit the poorest of the heavenly family. If angels' visits are few and far between at ordinary times, they shall be frequent in our nights of tempest and tossing. Friends may drop from us when we are under pressure, but our intercourse with the inhabitants of the angelic world shall be more abundant, and in the strength of love words, brought to us from the throne by way of Jacob's ladder, we shall be strong to do exploits. Dear reader, is this an hour of distress with you? Then ask for peculiar help. Jesus is the angel of the covenant, and if his presence be now earnestly sought, it will not be denied. What that presence brings in heart cheer, those remember, who, like Paul, have had the angel of God standing by them in a night of storm, when anchors would no longer hold and rocks were nigh. O angel of my God, be near, amid the darkness hush my fear. Loud roars the wild tempestuous sea, thy presence, Lord, shall comfort me.